kind of like low key like kind of <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you as a 21 year old um, and I am very proud to say that I am now officially 21 years of age. Um, so yeah, um, yeah like the sun was out, like it's, it's like 27 degrees today um, and I actually woke up and was like I really want to film, don't know what I'm going to film but I'm literally just going to come to the park and film. I couldn't bother to like set up the lighting and do like the backdrops and stuff so I was like might just come to the park and film so here I am in the sun it's really burning but I'm filming it yes 21 my jeans I am 21 and you know like when you turn 18 you're an adult but it's like adult with like a lowercase a but then when you turn like 21 it's like adult with a capital A <laughs> capital A <laughs> adult <laughs> that's what i am and um our tennis was amazing i had a party um and then i had like a mini party after that just to kind of like round up the weekend and it was amazing like i had so much fun this video is going to be tips on how to plan a party and like essential things that you need to remember when you're planning a party the first tip i would say is have people around you that know you um, and I say that because sometimes like when you're making decisions about what you want and what you don't want when there's so many like different options and so many different opinions in your head it's difficult because you're thinking I want this but at the same time I want, at the same time, I want that and sometimes you'll be like I don't even know what I want but when you have people around you that know know you and know what you like and actually have the best interests for you at heart it just makes life a bit easier because they'll be like, no, I guess I think you should get this one because X, Y, Z. And then when you do the research, you're like, you know, you know what, girl? That makes sense kind of thing. Second tip is plan early, like plan everything in advance. Um, even if it's not like paying off everything early, but at least know everything you want um, to be in your party or whether it's like decorations or whether it's um, music, whether it's venue, get stuff, get the big stuff done early. Uh, for example, my party was in May, but um, I decided where I wanted to have it by like last year, November. Tip number three would be budget well. Um, so know how much you want to spend on, for example, let's say music, for example. So for example, if my budget was I'm just making these figures up now. So for example, if my budget for music was like 400, but um, I wanted like two live bands and a DJ. Being realistic, that's not gonna fit in a, in a 400 budget. But when you have a budget set, you wanna be like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna have to cut that out um, and just have this kind of thing. And it's, it's not really settling for less, but it's just still having what you want, but not kind of, spending too much because of what you want um for example i had to i had to um what's it called i had to i had two live bands so i had jcp shout out to jcp they were amazing like i love each and one of those bits and then i had um like a congolese kind of like live band as well and because the congolese live band were basically family it was free of charge so that's why I was able to have both live um, live bands and the DJ, so it kind of fit into my budget. So, yeah, so for example, even with like decorations, if you have a, a budget, for example, for like a hundred pounds or 50 pounds for decorations, make your, make your decoration simple. Simple but nice. So for example, I had like, um, they are like fish bowls, but they are like cocktail bowls that I put like a fl flowers in with like, I don't know, I can't remember I can't what it had in it. But it was, it was still cute, it was simple and it was nice. But it was all in the budget because the bowls were like a pound each from the pound shop and flowers were, were cheap. Like I had like, I bought like a 20, 20 flowers for like six pounds, 10 pounds, something like that anyway. But I was able to stick within my budget 
in terms of decorations, but I look, I'm not exceeding my, budget, my budget, so I'm going to cut this out, I'm going to cut that out. Um, if you say that you're going to spend, I don't know, £300 on alcohol, £400 on drinks and alcohol, whatever, 200 you're spending on like soft drinks or whatever so you've split it in half so 200 you're going to spend on like soft drinks or whatever and then another 200 you're going to spend on alcohol right? being realistic we all know that 200 pounds of alcohol is about six seven bottles and for a whole a whole party six seven bottles is not much so what i did rather than spending a lot of money on um on bottles we literally bought like you know you can get those like giant size um like vodka or whatever, whatever. Um, and we just made cocktails. So we literally had like four, I don't know, jugs, what are they called? Like those container acrylic dispenser things, um, four of them and they had cocktails. So it's like, when you're making, when you're making, um, when you're buying alcohol for, co for cocktails, you don't need as much money because there's not as much alcohol that's needed in the cocktail. It works out a lot more cheaper because you just need like a whole big thingy vodka, which in Costco was like, I don't know, 30 pounds, 40 pounds, something like that. And then you have like, I don't know, like all the little fruit juice and stuff that go inside. So as a whole, it makes, trust me, it's a lot cheaper to have like little cocktail things rather than having little like bottles, bottles, bottles of alcohol. Uh, tip number four is use the people around you. Um, I'm not saying it like in the bad ways and use and abuse them, that's not what I'm saying. But for example, if you have a friend or like a cousin that is a makeup artist and does makeup, why would you go elsewhere and spend money when you could just get it done by like a friend that will probably give you a discount or even do it for free? Same way I use the Congolese live band as because they basically found me to me anyway. So that was free of charge. So that kind of cut down costs in terms of like, you know, extra money being spent. Um, what else? Like even if, uh, feel, if you have a friend that like films or like takes pictures, use them um, just to cut down costs um, in terms of like your spending and whatever. And tip number five would be learn to not rely on people but still ask for help when you need it. Um, and I think that's where I kind of struggled because I, I went in this whole planning um, party thing with I'm not relying on anyone um, and I'm also not really going to ask for help and towards the end I can't lie I kind of struggled like I was kind of crumbling like um, but everything was going really well up until like the last week and I think that's what always happens anyway like the last week there's so much going on and so much that is being thrown at you that it's just it's a bit too much to kind of bear but um, yeah like you just know when to kind of like Ask for help if you need it, but don't expect people to do stuff and don't be like, oh yeah, she's going to do it, so I'm not really going to bother with that or he's going to do that, so I'm not really going to bother with that. Keep checking up on things. And even when you do have like a team, for example, I had a team. So I had um, Jennifer, shout out to Jennifer. I did, like, you know when you just feel like you can't thank people enough, like I don't know what to do to repay you, but thank you to like Jennifer, Olivia, um, Daniela, Miguel, um, Jordan, I feel like those are the main people that kind of like really really helped me out in terms of my party. There was obviously loads of other people that helped me as well but um, yeah they were like my heart goes out to you guys. Yeah so when you have like a team and work is kind of like evenly spread out it just makes you, the load easier for you to bear in terms of everything that you have to deal with but I would say keep checking up on the people that are working with you because um like it's still your party <laughs> it's still your party regardless um those are my tips on planning a party i hope i hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know if i plan a party and if you need like any help or i don't know whether it's like links to stuff or it's, whether, whether it's um i don't know any type of help like just let me know um i'm kind of like low-key party planner <laughs> But um, I'm joking. But um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys are enjoying the sun. Like the way it's beating on me right now, I feel like I'm gonna get a tan. Um, but I really guys hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, take care and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.